I've always been interested in kitchen knives, really, from quite a young age. I suppose perhaps it's because I'm from Sheffield, and Sheffield has this huge, great, long history of manufacturing of knives and cutlery, uh, which goes back many, many centuries. And my father started, um, really, knives, I suppose, way back in the 1950s, where he designed his first knives, and it's something that I've sort of followed on. As creative director of David Mellor Design, I'm responsible for the design and development of all the products in the company. Kitchen knives, to me, really are essentially a tool. They're a tool to do a job. They perform a specific task in the kitchen. And the most important process of, of, of really designing a knife is to make sure that they work. I start off really with a sketch and this is really very quickly gets the thought that's in my head of that design onto a piece of paper and the sketch is purely for myself. I'll then very soon move into the factory and on this bench I will start quite a laborious process of actually making prototypes up. They'll start off as very crude prototypes and then gradually they will be refined. The advantage of, for me of actually sort of hand making and hand filing is I can really feel the weight of the knife and I can really get the ergonomics right. This is something you can't really do on a computer. When I've got my prototype to a stage that I think is defined, I will then get that prototype transferred into the computer as a 3D model and often rapid prototype that. That's actually essential because that technology and that model that's in the computer is then actually used for making the tooling that will actually manufacture that knife. The whole design process, sketch, prototype, refining, testing and then tools for production can actually take a surprising amount of time. The last range I did took nearly three years to actually get into production. Essentially there are, there are sort of two methods of making a kitchen knife. Um, the simplest method is to start off with a strip of high carbon steel and simply stamp out the shape of the blade and attach a handle. This will give you this type of knife. There's nothing wrong with it, it will cut, but as you can see it's terribly flexible and has no balance or strength. A better way of making a kitchen knife is actually a forged or cast knife and this knife as you can see, has a lot of material in the middle of the knife, giving it an inherent strength, stability and balance in the hand. This will be a, a far superior knife to use. An important factor in the manufacture of a kitchen knife is obviously the choice of steel. And a really good high carbon steel is vitally important. The higher the carbon, the sharper the edge can be. But this steel is actually useless until it's heat treated. We use a further process of ice hardening where this blade is then put into a tank of liquid nitrogen and cooled further to minus 80 degrees. This gives you a sharper edge but also means that that sharp edge will last that bit longer. After the heat treatment process the knife is then precision ground and then finally sharpened to create that cutting edge. Over the last 15 years or so, I've designed three comprehensive ranges of, of kitchen knives. They all share the same technical properties, the same high carbon stainless steel, the same heat treatment, but where they differ is aesthetically and ergonomically. All three ranges share the same blade shape. However, the difference is actually in the visual aesthetic of the knife, how they look, and also the ergonomics, how they actually feel in the hand. The first range of kitchen knives I, I designed, I think way back in 2006, 7, is this range, the black handled range. This is a fully forged kitchen knife and I've designed it in such a way that the steel runs all the way through the moulding with a back weight, which gives you a lovely balance and feel in the hand. This range is the province sole range of kitchen knives. It's a traditional riveted kitchen knife with the steel running all the way through the handle, giving a nice balance and weight. And I suppose it's my take on the traditional kitchen knife. This is the most recent range of kitchen knives I've designed and developed, the Rosewood range. It's a particularly substantial bolster, giving it a good central weight 
and I've chosen rosewood as a material for the handle which is a traditional handle material giving it a lovely luxurious feel and look. As with David Mellor cutlery it's possible to buy each knife individually and build up a collection that suits the chef's needs. We've also created knife sets consisting of a starter set, a specialist set and a carving set of specially selected knives. A well-designed kitchen knife really should be a pleasure to use and if looked after should provide many, many years of good service.